Okay, well, was that an example of nailing it? Not quite, nearly. I did, I did well for the first part of the race until Aries fell over. Um, I really wanted him to stay on his feet because he was forcing me to race hard. Yeah. And when he fell, I kind of switched off a bit. Talk us through your emotions over hurdle late when the crowd was going absolutely mental. I thought you were going to win it and you felt yeah. David coming back at you. Well, to be honest with you, um, I'm normally the strongest in that part of the race. And when the crowd roared, it put me off because it's like, you know, I should have been in the moment and just racing right the way to the tape. And uh, that's something I have to learn from. Why do you think, what do you think gave you the opportunity to sort of peak at this point in the season? You know, you're so close to Moscow now, you're just second in front of your home diamond league. Yeah. Well, what's the reasons behind that peak and how have you been able to achieve it? Training, consistent training. I've been hurt for two years um, before this year. I made the final in Daegu with my leg falling off, so not many people really knew that. Um, I think, you know, my hamstring was probably only just staying attached at one point, but I just had to soldier through it. Um, Painkillers didn't even really work. So I fixed that. I know why I was getting injured. I've corrected it. I've been all over the world to see different doctors and taken advice from the various people. Um, yeah, so when you can train, you can get consistency and it leads to good things. Nobody in the world's going to run 13 seconds yet. Do you think running 32.6 there gives you a great platform from which to challenge for a medal now? Is, is this, what I'm trying to say, is this, is this a great year, a great opportunity in which to grab a medal? The standard generally isn't as high as it will be. You can say that, but um, no, you, 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 you can say that looking at the statistics, but in actual fact, the reality is, look, look at Daegu. No one ran under 13 seconds in Daegu. But yet you had the two arguably best hurdlers in the world ever in the race in Dayron Robles and Lu Zhang. Those guys have done the most sub 13 second runs I can think of on the top of my head. And why didn't they go under 13? Well, I think the wind in the final was minus one point something. Maybe if it was the other way, everyone would have run a couple of tenths of a second quicker. Opportunities, um, what they're going for, Last year was an Olympic year. Everyone was really pulling out all the stops. It doesn't mean they're not capable of still going under 13. I think you know you just have to seize an opportunity when it's there. Good luck, Moscow. Thanks very much.